Eleanor, did the exorcists know about this when they agreed to help Artorias? They couldn't have. The exorcists I know fought for a world where people could live their lives in happiness and peace. But then how do you explain the fact that the exorcists seem to accept what's going on? Maybe that was just what I wanted to believe. It could be that Inominot suppression is also affecting the exorcists. You mean, Inominot might have taken control of their will and made them his tools? Completely believable. Exorcists are too hard-headed to be open to much persuasion. If I stayed with the Abbey, I might have accepted this world too. Thank you, Lafayette. It's your strength that protects my heart from wavering. You really think so? Of course I do. Have a little more self-confidence. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing I captured you then. That's true. I owe you my gratitude as well. Thank you. Seriously? Quite. To be able to express what's in my heart is a wonderful thing. You still drive me mad. But I can't disagree there. Even when not yet fully awakened, Inominot can extend his reach to the entire world. The other towns are probably in the same sorry state as the ones we've seen. Or perhaps even worse. Magilu, is there some art that can awaken Malakim? What do you mean? Well, if I could just use the flames of purification properly... Even if you could alter reality with that power, you'd end up destroying yourself in the process. Do you want to awaken that badly? I need more power. For Velvet's sake? For her too, but I hate what the Abbey is doing. It's just wrong. This world of theirs is without any joy. I just... want to do everything I can to stop them. This is what I want, with my own free will. And I... I know of no such art. And even if I did, it wouldn't help you. Huh? You've already found strength in your heart. There's no magic that can make that stronger. What you need is to be ready and determined. And to be brave. I guess you're right. Thanks, Maggie Lou. No thanks necessary. A hundred gold will cover it. Uh... You want me to pay you? Hey, good advice isn't free. What do I look like, a sidewalk psychiatrist? I'm a witch! She always has to be so difficult.
Do this. Check that. Devour. Take that. in my way. My spear work. Twin West! Take this! Or is it just me? Top! She used to be really top! Top! Twin West! Shake the heavens! I did it! Here goes! Swirling black side! And throw the car! Move my side! Shake the heavens! Got you! I did it! Here goes! Spy! Is it hot or is it just me? Thermal spear! Shake the heavens! Got you! Take that! Devour! Thermal spear! No mercy! Wounds I won't heal! Carved into flesh! Lethal pain! It's hungry? Bingo! Very nice!
you're good at beating up the weak ones. You won't get away. Oh, huh? your blitz. Check the heavens. Check that. Check oh, the power. Oh, oh, oh. I did it. Oh, looks like you're going to be oh, oh, oh. I won't get oh. Oh. Gaze oh, at the fire in It looks like no one is injured. I'm extra good at beating Check up the that. weak ones. Check that. Check power. You won't get away. Check that. Check that. Is it Is it just me? Quick fire! I'll it. Blast away the shadows of darkness. Check that. You're going to be put on ice. Check that. Devour. Crash through. Check that. Carve a moth. Rise up. He's a perfect warrior. You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Come. Burning Moon! Shake the heavens! No escape! Here goes! Ready to feel the burn? Fire! Shake the heavens! Burning Moon! Thermal Skewer! Over! Shake the heavens! Take this! Final Embrace! Thermal Skewer! We're on top! Shake the heavens! Final Embrace! Pierce! Thermal Skewer! Pierce! Thermal Skewer! Blade, Pierce True! I'm not one to go easy. What are those penguins doing? Probably keeping their eggs warm? Most likely. They look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But... How do they make the eggs? Huh? That's... well... So, Laffy said, here's an interesting fact. A single penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs. Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich pangan thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. That's a horrific name. I wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. I can fight too! Check that! Devour! Like oh, check that! Rip and tear! Rip and tear! Rip and tear! Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. You won't get away! Here's your blitz! Here's my enemies! Rip and tear! 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 You won't get away. Oh, 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 Blade, oh, oh, true. Twin oh, 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 And another one down. I will throw you on you. Right under. Let's take that. Devour. Hey, twin guys. Ice Edge. My spear can cut a path through anything. Seriously? Oh, smash that wall. I don't think walls count. So you can only handle small ones? I can't break through walls. I'm extra 
you're good at beating up the weak ones. You won't get away. Pierce, shake the heavens. That's a strike. Brendan, take it. Twin whip. Paint the dead. Don't take that. Devour. Like no one is injured. You want me in? Fine by me. I'll finish this now. Devour! Crash through! Finish! Lock and break it! Guys like Bacchio! Got you! Hey! Heaven Coil Serpent! Serpent. Coiling Serpent! I did it! Dance. Smash them! Spirit release! You wronged me! Here's your justice! Finding order! Yeah. Smash them! Up! I'll help you! I will so easy on whip. you! Cleansing uh, Lance! Start the strike! Yes. This fight is over! That's three Nordals collected, and one to go. Right. Usually that turtle shows up right about now. What gives? Turtles, loiters, embroiders? You mean, the turtles is late because he's taking too much time getting a new design for his robe? I knew you could follow along, my dear little oyster. Should we wait for him a bit longer? I'm sure your sister's reply has to be arriving soon. I don't write her those letters expecting to get a reply. They're more like an apology for not coming home to see her. But you can't go home because of the Reaper's curse, right? So why do you need to send letters and gifts? Soon after I left, my sister wrote me a letter. She said, I don't care if it's dangerous. I want to be with you. Maybe the old me, once I realized there was no fixing this curse, would have gone home prepared to do everything in my power to protect her. But I'm not the old me. Haven't been since I met Eifried and his crew. I understand. You found your place on that ship. Even if you lifted the curse, you wouldn't move back home. Do you think your sister knows that? I haven't told her directly, but I'm sure she's realized it. She's smart, and she's empathetic. That's why she never sends me a reply. You mean because she respects that you've chosen your way of life? That's probably how she sees it, yes. But understanding does not preclude loneliness. I think she doesn't reply as a way of showing that she disapproves. And you keep on sending those letters by way of atonement. I don't think it's anything so noble as that, but sure. You're probably not too far off the mark. A brother writing letters knowing he'll never get a reply. And a sister waiting for a brother she knows will never come home. You two make it so damn complicated. Just talk it out face to face and make up already. It's not that hard. <sighs> At least the person you care about is still alive. Velvet. <sighs> Are we done here? Let's go.
Good. It seems you're both still here inside me, then. It is not as though we desired these circumstances. We're only here because you ate us. I'll make no apologies. You wish to sacrifice us to the four elemental Empyreans, is that it? Yes. I won't apologize for that, either. It matters not. Your sins are nothing a mere apology could ever absolve. I know. At least you're aware of how selfish you are. Good for you, then. Remember this well, Lord of Calamity. No matter how many times I am reborn, I will act the same. As will I. And I as well. Did you say something? Just dreaming is all. But I know now how deep my sins run. Velvet, there's something I've wanted to talk to you about. It's... it's about the Therians. And about Lafayette. Let me guess. The link between us and Inomi not. Yes. There's no way of knowing what will happen until we actually try, but... You don't have to worry about me. I said it before. Best just to blame all the wickedness of the world on the Lord of Calamity. Don't you try to shoulder all of this yourself! We exorcists are just as much at fault for letting things come to this. So let me ponder what to do about Kamoana and the rest, but you need to think about Lafiset. There, I've said my piece. I don't know which of us is more stubborn. Still, I've got to face the truth. I've got to tell him. Oh, good. This place hasn't been suppressed yet. We're unloading. Give me a hand, will ya? Hey, you listening? Sorry. Something just feels weird. Like there's something tugging at my thoughts. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of that lately. But pull yourself together. Yeesh! Yet, being the operative term here. We'd better get a move on. Benwick, don't leave Kamoana or Medissa's domain, got it? The Therians are part of Inominat. They should be able to resist suppression to some extent. Aye, aye. You watch yourself too, first mate. Mount Killerhouse is at the northern edge of Northgand. Bit of a trek. It'd be nice if we could resupply along the way. There's a town, Mercio, near the foot of the volcano. It faces the sea, but the currents lately have been too strong to approach it by water. However, the land route should still be clear. The whole continent has been getting colder of late, not just Northgand. Colder? Could it have something to do with Enominot? Or maybe it's because the elemental Empyreans are asleep. Both sound possible. But think too hard about the cold, and it'll give you the shivers. Yeah, but even so... Whatever the case, our course remains the same. We'll head to Mercio and work from there. My son came home from the capital, and said he'd take over the family fishing business. That was always my dream. But is it really best for the world? For him to waste his talents on such a primitive activity? Dad, what are you saying? I thought we talked about this. You should use your education to help the country and people all across the world. That is the way of reason. That guy is acting really oddly. Wait, we talked about this? Yeah. You agreed that I should use my knowledge to advance fishing technology and stabilize the world's food supply. Remember? Oh. 
Yes, that's right. Shape up, Dad. What's the problem? Drinking too much? Just a nightcap before bed. If you need some rest, I'll take the boat out myself today. <laughs> That'd be the day. Like I'd put you in charge. You're not ready to take the boat out by yourself. An ill-fated fisherman's fortune. His memories are muddied. But is it divine will that dulls his wits? Or drink? A sailor who can't handle his drink is just as shameful as one who gets seasick. here than last time you're right it was merely freezing before now it goes straight to the bone allow me to warm not nessa uh, uh, oh the stasis are going around uh, so cold if it's this bad here i dread to think of what the guyberk ice field is like the tundra past mount killer house is it really that cold? I've stayed up in the mountains many times for my training. With all the snow, I imagine it'd be pretty rough for a normal human. Why are you sneezing all of a sudden? Demons aren't supposed to feel cold. Ah, a snowflake just flew up my nose and... Achoo! You're sneezing too. My hair was blowing around and tickled my nose. But according to the old book I read... It isn't supposed to snow much around Guyberk. Because of lava from the volcano and the Earth's natural heat. I bet the book calls it Guyberk Plains, too. Yeah, it says Mount Killerhouse was highly active, and the area used to be famous for its hot springs. But now it's... Uh... What? Why are you all staring? They're all expecting you to sneeze, I think. Everyone else is doing it! Now give us a good show! Ah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, sorry, everyone. No sneezes here. I'll practice for next time. Ah, oh, good grief.